Alrighty, tubes. It's been a while since we worked on this. I kind of forgot where we were at. Uh, you know, I think uh, I was showing you how to, to put these, to fit these things, you know. So I, I got it on there and uh, I'm happy the way it uh, fits. Both of them. Both of them fit real nice. So uh, let's take them off. I got everything labeled. I don't know if you can see. This is the number two cylinder and this is the number one. I got the connecting rods, number one on air and number two on here. So as not to mix everything up. Okay, so now let's take this all apart. Okay, put that over there. I got everything lubed up here. Let me get a rag. Put that right here. Yeah, it's been a while since I worked on this. I've been on vacation and it's been pretty hot. We've had, we've had a heat wave, we've had a two or three heat waves here of over, some days it was over 100 degrees and stuff. Okay, you know what, while well, we got it here, these governors here right now they're flush, but you, you'll adjust that after you get the engine running. But to start off, I like to turn these in maybe about 16th or or an eighth, just just a little over an eighth. That's uh, where I've seen most of them. And that's where they seem to run the best. So let me turn that in there. Let me get a small screwdriver. That one's pretty big. Okay, that feels good. And they're tight to them. I don't think they'll back out. But uh, that's where I like it. Alrighty. Now, let's get the block. All right, this is what you've, you've all been waiting for. This you want to know what color it was. All right. I want you to all sit down. Cause I don't know. Some of you might have the heart to take this, but uh, this is the color the customer wanted. That's right. Plum. It's plum crazy. But it's, uh, it's actually going to look pretty good when it's done. All right, what we're going to do now is uh, lube all this up. I know my buddy Dave over there, Ding0925, he cringed when I used this last time. This, uh, this brush is acid brush, but uh, he had a point, you know what I mean? Just make sure you don't, you know, these things aren't made the best. Just make sure you don't... Uh, leave any little hairs in there. Not that it would make much of a difference on these little engines, but uh, you know, it's one problem, one less problem you have. A hair could get stuck anywhere. Check him out, he's pretty good. He does body work over there and uh, paint. and he's a, mechanic. he's a real deal, he does mechanical work. He's got a, he's got a pretty good channel. He, uh, he should get more views than he does. He really doesn't get that many views. So maybe you guys go over there and check him out. Old Dave, Dink0925, tell him Road King sent you, he'll like that. All right, let me lube this whole thing up here so it slides in. Like I say, just keep your eye open for the for little hairs. These are cheap brushes, but uh, they seem to be holding, holding pretty good. I'm going to lube this up to lube these all up while we got it out. Maytag's like oil, so lube them up good. Alrighty. Whoop. Almost tipped over. Yeah, I got a wheel can here to squirt the shit in there, but uh, I like that. Alright, let's put this down. Facing this way. And uh, stick this crank in there. Okay. 
at the seal on the other side here, so I don't want to pop that out. There we go. That seems to be spinning pretty good. All right, now, I got a gasket. There's a gasket that goes on here, and that's how you, that's how you adjust the side play, that, like this. But let me show you something. I got a bunch of them. Here's one. This is a whole gasket set. I got this from the same guy. And this is real thin. In the same order from the same guy I had this one in another gasket set. Now this is a nice sort of rubbery one. And it's about three times as thick as this yellow one. Like I say, that's how you adjust the, the end play, you know, by the thickness of the gasket. If it's if it's too tight, you add, a, you add a gasket and take it away. But each, each set only had one, and uh, I don't know what the deal is there. I do have other gaskets here. And I think I might use this one only because it's white. It's, it's the same as that one, and the yellow will probably look like hell because you're going you're gonna to see it. And the white won't look too bad, so I'll use that. But then I also have another gasket here from a another set another company and this one here is a little thicker too and it's sort of made out of a a harder cardboard so you know when you order these gasket sets you know for these old engines you don't know what you're going to get you just have to know what you're uh, putting on there all right so like i said i'm going to use that white one and if it's if it's too tight, then I'll have to add another gasket. But uh, let's take the nut off here. Let me lube this up. Make sure there aren't any hairs in there. Okay. Put that up there on my board. this on here without ripping it. You could screw them on but it's just as easy to press it on. There we go. I'm not gonna put I'm not gonna torque it up with the wrench or nothing like that. I'm just putting this on here right now to make it easier to play with the the connecting rods and stuff. Okay. All greased up here. Eight minutes already. Okay. I don't know if you can see, but I marked the uh, mark my sides here. There's a cylinder one, cylinder two. Doesn't matter which ones you mark. Just make sure you use the same rods and stuff for what you've been playing with. All right. So this I've been calling this number one. Let me lube this up. Plenty of lube. Right, it's top of the engine, so you want to make sure that the, your mark is on top. Huh. That's pretty tight. Okay, we could fix that later if it is too tight. Okay, turn our cylinders. So we can see it and be up there. Put our connecting rod on. Turn it right there. Make sure that's on the top. Oh. Okay. I dropped it in there. Let me shut these down so I can grab that again. And then we'll get back to you. All right, I put these connecting rods on. I didn't torque up on them though. Let's see, let me turn it around. Here, get this top one here. 
can see, you want to tighten them down as much as you can. Huh. Let me wipe myself down here, a little slippery. Roll with oil. Okay. Alright, crank it down. And then we'll turn it. Crank down on this other one. I'm not happy with how tight that crankshaft is, so I'm probably gonna put a thicker gasket in. Okay, I'll turn this around here. Let's see here. Just did this one. Okay. Turn this one around here and get this one here. You make them as tight as possible. You know you're only you're only using a screwdriver, so you're not gonna you're not gonna break anything. Okay, okay, see that's that's snug, but yet uh, got plenty of play there. Same with this one. That's what you want. But like I say, I'm not happy with this this crankshaft is tight. All right. We're getting kind of long, so I'm going to just put this, got a brand new brass, pipe uh, cap there, we'll stick that in. I'm not going to put any uh, sealing on there because I'm probably going to have to uh, take that off again when we uh, adjust the, the RPMs of this thing. All right. We're getting kind of long, so uh, let me shut you down and we'll start another video. Alrighty.